Welcome to Autumn Sunflowers Pumpkin Pie Spice. Oh my gosh, we have pumpkin pie spice coffee and we have pumpkin spice things at the grocery store we never heard of before. But 2024, it is the flavor of the year. And pumpkin pie spice, yes, but we all know that it is all spice, nutmeg. Mace, and which one don't I have? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yep, exactly. So you know you can make pumpkin pie spice at your house because it's the spices that go into pumpkin pie. <laughs> okay, Keith Adler is my sous chef today. <laughs> Keith is a county board supervisor from Elkhart Lake, but your official title because you are in charge what is your official title? Chief Dog Catcher. No, no, the <laughs> chair, chairman of the board was elected this spring. So For the county for board. For the county board, yeah, all 25 of us. And if you remember him now, he has lots of music in his background. But of course, I was a mother with kids that knew all about him, but I, I didn't. <laughs> and the one name that my children remember is Blind, no. Sun blind, lion. Sun, okay, this is the guy right here. This is, <laughs> thank yes. you for coming. Well, I, thank you for that, Marilyn. I'll just uh, do a little segue into Sun blind lion was recently, and this Sunday at Fountain Park, was recently elected, inducted into the Sheboygan County Hall of Fame, Musicians Hall of Fame, and so, during the Vikings and Packer game on Sunday, we're going to be try, trying to get people to come by us here and say, no, it's just an induction. And so we'll Great. be hung on the wall in Fountain Park. Great. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. I love to hear that. Yeah. Everybody has a story. Everyone has a life. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Today, we are going to start on this end. Cabbage soup. It's autumn. And instead of potato dumplings, I made matzo balls. Working at the synagogue for 30 years, I made lots and lots of matzo balls. Okay, Keith. And uh, I made them from matzo meal, recipe right on the box, or from a mix. And of course, it's sealed tighter than can be naturally. What's matzo? Matzah is crushed, well, it's wheat okay. made into, because you can get matzah crackers. It's just bland <laughs> matzah crackers, no flavoring. Um, I guess you might even be able to say that saltines are little mini matzahs with salt. Mm. Okay, matzah meal or from the mix. Okay, you've got eyeballs. What does it say I have to put in there? About what? <laughs> ingredients. This, oh, the ingredients. Um, directions. Uh, oh, directions. They're two different things on You're two right. different sides of the coat. Okay, number one, in the medium bowl, mix two large eggs with one quarter cup of vegetable oil. Well, I just do it all together at one time. Oh, that's what? <laughs> Got Number one. Number one. Don't break the egg. You want to? There we go. Shlup. There you go. There we go. And I do have. There you go. See, that's what us assistants are here for. To and of course, you know, this happens at home, right? <laughs> no, it lands on the floor at home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Thank you. All right. And you've already put a, a contents of the package yep. in, in there, okay. So I'm gonna skip over to number three. In a large pot with a tight fitting lid, bring two and a half quarts of water to a boil. We're not gonna do that. No. I'm just gonna make the matzo balls. I'm just gonna make the matzo balls and you're going to see that then you poach them in the hot liquid. Yes. And I used a lot of chicken broth to do these. I know we're past this step already, but I just got to read okay. it here. Using wet hands, 
form matzo mix into balls about the size of walnuts, which you've already done. Well, <laughs> us, the other ones. Th finished it. And then drop the balls into boiling water. So it's just the mix, egg and oil, if that's it? Yes. Okay. And after you've mixed them all up with your wet hands. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. And I put a little bit too much oil in, I can see that it's not dry enough. But as this sits, and usually I let it rest overnight in the refrigerator, it becomes nice and firm and it's easy to shape into balls to poach. Mm -hmm. To make ours a little more interesting, I diced carrots and green onion. So now this could simply be dropped into boiling broth. What's the German? Uh, Spetzel? Spetzel, yes, yes, that's it. That would work. So it's just the, the Hebrew version. <laughs> we all eat the same foods with a different spice to it, probably. And that goes into the cabbage soup. I want to show you the cabbage soup. Let's see if I can just. It's just, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, cabbage soup. I love those vegetables, cabbage and Brussels sprouts mm -hmm. and turnips and rutabagas, all of that. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Any questions about matzo balls, which are dumplings? <laughs> Cabbage soup. You want to put some olive oil in here or a stick of butter, either one. Okay. Whatever you, and an easy way, and then rock it, and you get, it's easy to cut that way. And you can have it as fine or as coarse as you like. Keith, you want to chop the rest and just put it in here. I'm not any, a chopper, way, but any way you like it. Oh. All the ways that are cut are correct. Okay, good. Yeah, we will at the very end. We'll see. Yep, yeah, we'll see this little core you cut out. All right. Yep. Get rid of that guy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Could I cut them a little thinner? No. Nope. Part of That's the core? That's fine. That's fine. There's no right or wrong way. Correct. I told Marilyn earlier that my wife does all the cooking at home and I make brownies and uh, that's about it. You know. Oh, that's good. <laughs> well, I'd more? rather do this than brownies. Yeah, okay. More cut, a little bit? That's fine. And it calls for tomatoes in the cabbage soup. And Aunt Marianne Schellinger gave to me yellow tomatoes. So I canned yellow tomatoes, so. Great. And the rest of the cabbage can go into that. Okay. Except for the head. Yeah, we'll get rid of the head. Some salt, of course. And being cooking class, I thought we should do white pepper in a grinder, right? Well, you know, when I was still catering 100 years ago, I used this a lot, so this baby is at least 60 years old. Oh, but those are so nice. Yeah. This is becoming thicker. What else goes into the cabbage soup? Onion. Onion. And of course, I don't have onion. I forgot <laughs> onion, as I do with lots yeah, of we'll classes. What else goes in? Mm. Forgot the garlic. You would think this teacher would have gotten used to teaching the class, right? But onion. Garlic, what else? Thyme. Salt. Salt I put in there. 
brown sugar. <laughs> what next? Chicken stock. And this is actually from the grocery store. I have a number of packages in my freezer. Celery ends, green onion ends, onion peel, all of those things, some leftover salsa, some bones, and I think tomorrow or Sunday I'll make a big pot of stock. And each time stock is made, it's different depending upon whatever leftover pieces are in the freezer. Cabbage soup. Let it cook until it's the flavor you like and the tenderness you like. Cabbage is soft in approximately 40 minutes. Thank you. Serve with dumplings. Yes, serve with dumplings. <laughs> or matzo crackers. Matzo balls. Now, it's thicker now already. Let's drop some in there and see what happens. Keith, you want to do this? Oh boy, and my hands aren't wet. <laughs> and of course, that was the pepper. And now I know what a sous chef is. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so how's that one? Not bad. <laughs> That's a. Um, <laughs> oh, I could say something, but I won't. <laughs> it takes lots of balls to make a matzo balls. <laughs> Can you see it on the TV? Yep, I'm going to cut a little more cabbage to go into the soup. Are they too big? Can I make them too big? I can see them. Oh, they look fine. Okay. You're doing good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Does anybody, did anyone grow cabbage in their garden this year? No. I think, is it hard to grow without getting wormy? I don't know. Well, it can be, yeah. Oh, be, okay. But it can be, but uh, from my experience, uh, which is limited gardening experience, it's how you tend your garden and you keep the aisles free and open and hopefully animal free and bug free to whatever extent you can really realistic, okay. realistically do that. But yeah, it's doable. Okay, all right. And of course, you know, our parents all had gardens in the backyard instead of grass and grew all sorts of things. Yeah, excuse me, I'm gonna rinse off. <laughs> we'll put, you wanna dump this into the waste basket for me? Thank you. I never was good with weeds in tending gardens, but. Uh, so we are going to have cabbage soup here eventually. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the cutting board and then we'll talk about, uh, well, the Brussels sprouts. Here you go, my dear. Thank you. Brussels sprouts in the same family as cabbage. Are those Belgian Brussels sprouts? Oh, I don't. What is a Belgian Brussels sprout compared to really from Belgium? Not that I know of. Bacon. And of course, it is warm, so it's very difficult to cut. Okay, Keith, you can tend to this bacon. I think um, okay. any rubber scraper, spoon, anything you find. Okay, I'll find one here. Um, I'll go get you a wooden spoon. Okay. And then the Brussels sprouts. And I cut them ahead of time. When we were little kids, mother all of a sudden brought this strange vegetable to the table called a Brussels sprout. Thank you. Well, it was so new to us, we immediately thought it was good, <laughs> and we ate that, and, but I think hers were simply boiled. And in those days, in the 50s and 60s, 
Margarine was the magic new food. <laughs> Fleischmann's margarine and parquet. parquet. Oh yes, yes. And, and margarine was easy to find if you lived in Illinois and you could right. get it before it was illegal. That's right. <laughs> I'd forgotten that part. It was illegal in Wisconsin. Yeah. Well, That's we were the dairy co yeah, uh, county and, and state, you know. So. That's right. Oh, I'd forgotten all about that. So you want me to cover this for a little bit and then stir? Or, or? Sure, give it, okay. give it some salt and pepper and okay. you know what? Because this is just demo, add the raisins, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vinegar, and let that baby cook. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. We found one, but... All Butter, right. nut, squash, because it looks like a peanut. Uh, butter cup is my favorite. It's the darkest flesh and it's the driest so it soaks up lots of butter. And a Hubbard, the big bumpy Hubbard, also is dry and dark so it soaks up lots of butter. Acorn is, people like acorn but to me it's quite bland. Kind of like pumpkin compared to squash. And uh oh, look out, they're rolling around. Here, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. I'll throw it away. Thank you. There's no such thing well, as a five second rule. Never. This baby is Not when it comes to germs. <laughs> Can you smell it? Yes. Okay, good. Now the additives you mentioned, salt and pepper, and I did not add because I cannot find it, but you said oh. the raisins go yeah, in Yeah, add too? the raisins, yep. Okay. What else goes into the Brussels sprouts? That's in here already, yep. There we go. Oh, yes, this is it'll all it the raisins will cook apart as they heat. Okay. I have not been able to find currants at the grocery store. I hope they have them in time for fruitcake. Next month chicken broth and apple cider vinegar. Yes, 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 yes. Next month at the end of October. The gentleman who runs the filling station at Northgate, he's a, a man from the Punjab part of India. He's going to be my sous chef, or I'm going to be his sous chef. <laughs> I don't know which, because he is also starting a restaurant along with his filling station. So we've spoken, and I, it'll be either I'll help him or he'll help me, one or the other. That's the last of October, right. And then nothing in November, and nothing in December, and then January, and what did we decide about January just a few minutes ago? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. Fish. Let's go fishing. That's what it was. Oh, gosh, that would be great it, if we get any lakes to freeze over this year. Yeah. Any questions about the Brussels sprouts with the bacon and the raisins? I'm going to make space. They're bringing it here. Keith, when they bring the, the pan of uh, Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. We'll just unplug everything, and this baby can go back up again. Okay. Should I turn this down then? Yeah. Mm. I hope that doesn't get thrown away. 
That can no. just get put into a dish and I'll take it yeah. home. Okay, <laughs> good. No, you do, do take it home. Do, do, hmm. do. Okay, okay, let's. Why don't I take care of this right away? Move the, except I now realize I need to plug in the waffle iron. Oh, well, we can make space here on the table. I don't know how far this will reach, but, oh, we got her. No worries. And this is on now. I made the waffles with walnuts and cheddar. It'll go with the dessert. As I said, the dessert is sweet squash covered with chocolate, covered with marshmallows, mm -hmm. and we'll torch it. So it is like a squash s'more with a cheddar walnut waffle. Yes. Right words. Chocolate. Yeah. And I actually did make the waffles from scratch, but today we have a little bit of the, you, you see what I'm using today. But we need some walnuts. And some cheddar, extra sharp and rich. Farmhouse cheddar. Does anyone remember these kind of graters from your mom? And they do work great. Now, what do you suppose, what is this metal? Uh, stainless zinc. steel, probably. Is it stainless steel or I is it zinc? I'm not sure. I always assumed it was stainless steel. Well, I think on the new graders it is, but this is from like 1942. Mm. Tin. tin? Maybe it's tin. Really? Hmm. Hmm. And you measure the walnuts and the cheddar really carefully. <laughs> I think that's enough. Here, this we can Garbage. take away. Okay. And I'm taking the easy way out. And it calls for milk and vegetable oil. <coughs> I don't have milk. Would you bring me that creamer, Terry? What? The creamer? creamer. That orange. Pumpkin pie Pumpkin spice creamer. creamer. Oh. oh, this is done. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Keith, would you stir this so I don't add too much liquid? Certainly. And of course, using this in place of the milk adds flavor, but also more sweetness, it does. And calories. And calories, <laughs> yes. I think that will do it. Okay. Here, Sue, this can go back with the coffee. Yep. <laughs> and of course, I added too much. That's isn't she just terrific? I mean, wow. I, mean, I love it. You're a very smart man. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Keith if he would sing today, and he said, no, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will. <laughs> when the sun hits the sky, never mind. I got a big piece of pie. Don't make a big, a pizza pie. But this is an Italian today, so we won't sing. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's oh, what a beautiful day! I've, I've got, got a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Everything is going, going my, my way. way. Oh, hallelujah! All right. I would love that. <laughs> All right. And Pam someplace. Some Pam? <laughs> Pam, 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 any Pam? Oh. Hmm, you mean just a little oil of sorts or? Well, no, the spray Pam. Oh, okay. Um, okay, we don't have it. No spray Pam, right. spray Pam? 
pan. Now this is Janet Ray's. Way, maybe it's not here. Waffle iron. Let's hope I don't. Oh, okay. Wow, this is terrific. There were spoons up here. Well, what? No. I don't know. That can go. This can go. This can go. This, sh I should be able to turn this. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to force it, but lift no, it up and see. no, that won't work. Hmm. Wouldn't you know? I know. This is actual life. This is actual cooking. Yeah, it will. It will cook. Okay, we don't need this Brussels sprouts any longer. That can leave. Yes. Yeah. When I was looking in the, the pantry or the storage room okay. for a coffee maker to make pumpkin spice coffee, there's two little coffee makers, but the stems and the baskets don't fit in either one. <laughs> <laughs> and when I did, f I, per I uh, brought forth oh, the large one to put in the kitchen. Hang and on, it Faith. is burned on she's the bottom. She's coming with I that. said to Emily, all these three appliances can go directly to the garbage. And she said, yes. There's no point in storing them if we're not able to use them. Oh, yes. You want to say that louder? They're looking for a donation of a coffee maker. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> it worked yesterday. Let's see if it'll work today. Yeah, well, yeah, you got it. There you go. Don't burn this beautiful building down now. Oh, Keith, yeah. would you like to do this? Okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You Just trust me. Be sure to keep it on there and not yep. not the people in the front row. Got it. Okay. So you want a little bit of... Just a little bit of color. Okay. So it looks like a squash some more. That looks pretty darn good, Keith. Okay. Yes, that's okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, very good. Look at that. Cheddar walnut pancakes. Waffles. Waffles, yes. Brussels sprouts, matzo balls, cabbage soup, and squash s'mores. Let's eat. Mm -hmm.